Hello beautifuls, my name is Epic Treasure oh, and I've got a tutorial for you today. This is the porcelain dead doll face, um, either a risen or pawn, take your pick. Um, I'm going to do a build create with me, but there's going to be timestamps for this whole tutorial so you can jump straight through to the numbers. If you want or if you want to watch the process, come take a seat. If you like what you see, come like, subscribe and hit the notification so you know what to do and then come over to the Discord channel, the link is below and uh, there's a whole Dragon's Dogma. Uh, group there which you'll love thoroughly that'll have news and everything else so we want to pick um, the base body the human doesn't matter which one because we're going to sort of muck with it importantly we need to pick like I've said in the other tutorials if you haven't watched those check them out we must pick from this screen the lips that we want first I can't stress it enough that's what's going to make your character um, be able to be customised the best way that you can be customised uh, so here we've got, you know I love this one if you see my other tutorials, we see the pointy Cupid's uh, bow there, top of the lip where it's got the pointy part. If you want it more sort of pouty, there's that one there. But let me tell you, if you pick this one, you can only make the lips go so big. So we don't want to do that. I'm going sort of prissy kind of dolly. So that one I think, because we can make the mouth like um, more narrow but more big. Narrow and <laughs> bigly. So... We're just going to click those ones and this is what we're starting off with. So I've picked her specifically because of that lip. Now we're going to number one because she's going to be porcelain doll. We want to make the skin as uh, porcelain as possible. So skin, base skin. This is going to be a little bit fiddly. We need to change this to number five, I think, for our sort of skin colour. And then that's when we start to find the the actual you know, that porcelain sort of look there so this is as, as pale as she can go so scanning scanning we will probably put i don't know if we're going to put we might actually use um the face the tattoo to make her face uh paint because it's not bright enough we've got freckles there and even though you just put the freckle fader on, it does not get rid of them. But that's probably right for the body. And then we'll deal with everything later. So, wrinkles. Put it down. You can build with me right now. So what we want to do is we want to make her doll-like. So, first port of call is we're actually going to go straight to the body tattoos. And we're going to click... Uh, uh, we're going to click both of those. Edit tattoo 2. So body tattoos start on what? We need the base of the face first, which is going to be uh, white. We need it totally covered. So we're going to go this one here. And that's welcome to the Discord if you just joined too. Popping off. Um, tattoo primary colour, number 16. Then we're going to move the vertical position up. Move it up. Here we go, here we go. Take it easy with this. All right, all the way up to the hairline. Then we're going to make it overall scale big, right? And she's going to have these sort of lines on it too, which is kind of cool looking. Um, horizontal scale. And that just I would like it to go over her ears. Can we do that? Overall horizontal. That's cool. Yes, I like it. Um, that's perfect. Uh, before I had it running down her chest, etc., does have that porcelain kind of look to it because you could just see the skin color through it right that's done what we need to do now is we're going to go over to the eyes makeup eyes so eye style we want to have just normal eyes we're going to go iris primary color we're going to try number one with this we're going to try number one with the secondary, we're going to try number one tertiary, like that. And then the whites of the eyes, we're going to also pick number one, like that, right? Iris size, big. Pupil size, big. So the whole thing is just filled. Getting creepy already, huh? So that being said, another thing that you could do 
theoretically you could spin like rotate the white on her face around so it's facing the other way so that more of her forehead is has got that skin color and then you could probably see the eyebrows a bit better maybe we'll try that in a second so we'll try i'm not sure it's going to work it's worth trying though so body tattoos and then we'll do rotation here we go so i did it like see you can just see it there we go that one there and that goes on to a neck though i think that's a lot of fiddling that's actually really cool i like that sort of statue like i like it i'm keeping that it's like her head has been snapped on i like it we're keeping it sure good now, with the whole eyebrows, it's not going to really matter too much. Uh, we can change the thickness to make it sort of stick through a bit more. But when it comes to the actual brows, um, it makes it a little bit difficult. The only other way that we can sort of circumvent it is when we go to the body tattoos, we can make it more um, opaque. Like this. So we've got more brow, like the more we go there oh it's kind of creepy isn't it we just want that dead dolly look i like the fact that she has texture on her face actually and we don't want those eyebrows so let's just go Now with the lipstick, we can actually have the lipstick that goes over the top of that, I think. Uh, let me see, maybe we can't, maybe we might have to move it up. Let's see, let's see, let's see, lipstick, ow. Oh, you're pushing it, you're pushing it. Oh, I don't think we'll get away with that. No, we won't. We can only go grey. <laughs> no, I need to have it black. We need to have it black. So, let's just see if it like that. We'll say it's full bang, type 5. Go back over to the body tattoos. And see how much we can change it. Yeah, it's a problem. She's a problem. She's a big problem. We can't achieve the black lips without it. That's a pain, isn't it? All right, we're going to have to have a look at skin and fiddle battle around with skin. Okay. Like, I can't make that any wider. I think it's five. Yep. Yeah, we're stuck with five. So, all right. That's as good as we're going to get, I reckon. Number 17. Yep. That's as good as it's going to get. 17. But at least now we can actually put eyeliner and stuff on. So eyeliner... But you don't want too much, because if you put too much and it kind of doesn't let the eyes pop so much. This one's quite good. I want a bit of a cat wing though. That's nice. That's too much. And I want eyeliner underneath though. I can't seem to win, can I? I just want eyeliner in the bottom, but not too crazy. Has she got eyeshadow on? She doesn't. Okay, what well, can you do? Eyeliner. Just chunky one. 
Then what we want to do is we're going to go over to Tattoo again and then we're going to go change this one. Can we reset it? No, reset. Tattoo presets. Reset. Okay. Body tattoos. Head to tattoo to body style. So I want the one with the one stripe that goes down. This one here. Then we want to go... We need to move it up to start with. Vertical position up. Then we need to go vertical, horizontal tiling to horizontal position, vertical position. Then we're going to go move it overall scale. Vertical scale, a bit more like this. Horizontal scale, narrow. So we want it as wide as the eyes, there, like this. And then we're going to go vertical position up to the eyes like this, right? Like that. Now I want it to be like shiny black, like Death Stranding black. So we're gonna go sheen like this. Sheen like that, right? These lips seem a bit strange to me. Lips, we need to change the shape of the lips. That's what we need to do. So we go mouth. We can make it more dolly looking. So we go narrow. Then we can go uh, lip thickness. So she can be more of a dolly. Like that. And I kind of like her nose like this. Usually, you know, I like to sort of um, have them a little bit ski jumpy, but I don't think so. Do we want her smiling a bit? Not too much. Like a little bit. Uh, we want to go eyes. Eye size big, but squinted. 61. Nah, a little bit more, a little bit more open awake. Now, I said that I was, like, when I was on Twitter, which is Epic Treasure with an X in the end of it, I said that I was going to fix that um, waterline there on her eyes, but I don't know if I want to. I think if I do that, it's going to potentially make it blend in too much. So if we were to go to makeup, go eyeliner and change it, let's see. See how that puts the eyeliner there? puts the, the, the waterline on the bottom lower lash and that just looks odd I think that's probably the best one to do because it's just there but I reckon if you do it like this it's just it's weird looking at least we can see her eyes like this the other option you could do is go to change it to red whoops see change it to red but uh, the reds just don't cut it for me this so much. I just like the black. The other ones, I'm like, oh, I like the color of that. I like that. Like fresh paint. Um, so keep it like that. We need different eyebrows. Uh, eyebrows, we need them to be, yes. Like pissy eyebrows, like angry eyebrows. That's nice. They're my ones, but not as thick as that. But you know what? I guess with the dollies, that you don't really want them to have um, angry, though, do you? You want the kind of sort of docile-looking innocent. So innocent eyebrows might be the go. I'm diving deep, aren't I? <sighs> See what you got to do. Brow. So if I go brow bend, we can go Game of Thrones. Oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, actually, brow angle it is. This one. I didn't do anything wrong. That one versus the angry one. I don't know. I, f I think that's very, it's far too bushy. Let's get rid of the bushiness. There we go. It's not crazy. That needs to be separated. I don't know what I was thinking with that. Browns. Nah. Uh, yes. See, one says eyebrows and then it says brow, so I'm always confused. A brow height, brow spacing. Ah, ah, ah. That's nice. And I think 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if dolls are usually sort of more long in the face or more angular. I think old to old timey old days they had more of a narrow face, but dollies are more sort of they've usually got less of a square jaw feature because they're the feminine type of jaw, even though square jaws are more popular for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but head, we need a bigger head. So head size, a bit bigger, head length, head width. That's very dolly. It is very dolly. Face height. So we want a big forehead, do we? <laughs> Um, I think the chin's nice. I do. I really do. There's something wrong with her and I don't know what it is. I think her mouth needs to be wider. <sighs> okay, let's try that. Mouth width. Oh, that actually moves the... I didn't realise it moves the paint out. That's nice. Protrusion. That's that looks like a dolly to me. Look at all the texture under her skin. You can see all the scarring under there. That's really cool. Um, I think I want to get her eyes. And make the angle a bit more. Yeah, that's good. And the eye width. Oh, whoa, 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 we don't want to. Oh, I want it a little bit. Yeah, that's good. The eye size is max. I can't do any more than that. That's stunning. I like sometimes that's just it and just stop. But you know damn well that I've got another tattoo spot. I'm like, oh, what can I use that for? We need to change her body shape. Upper body, chest, height, max, chest shape. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then chest height's done. Lower body. All right, she's, she's got a big booty and big booby doll. Rear size. That's just how I'm making her. She needs like, she needs wider. Whoa, waist width. See, I really like this hair. I think that looks quite good, but we'll suss it out with the different hairstyles. So make sure that this is correct. Number one. Number one. Hairstyle. Okay, so we're currently on number 41, which I love. So this is where you might want to change it to your suiting. That's very dolly-like, isn't it? Like that. Click. Well, I'll see what it looks like in the thumbnail, and then you'll know. I love that too. That is lit. Take a screenshot of that one. Nah. I do kind of like that it's like disheveled looking. That could be really cool in a different colour. So for example like blue straw oh she's so scary smirking with like the blue stripes going down stop looking at me she's freaking me out that's yeah i don't mind it i don't like it i don't like it i feel like those i do feel like those stripes need to be a bit more but i think they're going to extend from the eye too much that is ridiculous no 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 that's a bit too wank isn't it like i like it but it's just not what I have. That is not right. That's kind of straight. Um, let's see. That's kind of, I like that one. I quite like that. No. No. <laughs> that's very cool. I do like it, but I've already got one that's got that hair, so. No dice. It's one I do like. Nah, it's too much. Too much. I think the the problem with these ones is it adds too much, too much black contrast. You know, like you look at that, and go wow, those eyes pop, the the paint pops, and then it's suddenly that's not the hero anymore. The hair is sort of competing with it. So I think that's the secret with this one. I think that that's really nice. I didn't mind that one that looks stupid all right so uh 41 
Lock in 41, but I need to change this, this paint because I feel like it's encroaching too much. Uh, so tattoo, body tattoos. Let's just change the, the uh, overall scale of it. That's a bit better. And then uh, horizontal. I don't mind it. Show me it. I do like that better, actually. It does connect with her eyeliner. Just conveniently. She looks amazing. I think what I want to do with the secondary tattoo is I just want to put a band around her neck. So we'll do that. Okay. Oh, and also, let me just bring this up while I'm doing it. Where are you, Mr. Music? Uh, thank you to Fredzilla and Sass and Sandra Vine Dreist and Phantom Dead and Scott B. I see not Miku through my magical mirror and Geo Relic. Welcome. Uh, Viking Thunder, Sherry Cola, Matthew Marling, Prime and Carter, Ronald White, Kelly Wiggins, Furious Fury, John Alchan, Pokemo, Pokemon, Sonia. Fei Lin and Farmology and Wang and Doom Cutie and Jose and Sharon and thank you for becoming um, members over on YouTube. So as of Dragon's Dogma launch, I will be creating Dragon's Dogma content basically full time. So you're going to see a lot more of me and thank you for your support too. Sorry, she's getting impatient with me. Look at her, looking at the roof. Chill. Naughty Dolly. So I don't know, what do you think her vocation should be? I think she'd be an amazing sorcerer. Um, and yes, let me know what your vocation's going to be. Um, as you know, in the starting, the starting vocations are mage, fighter, thief and archer. So you can pick from those. Um, I've got a tendency to pick mage all the time to start with and then I always change to something like a thief. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I've got a feeling that's what's going to happen. So you have to be very mindful about the Arisen and Pawn you pick. You can change it later on. That's what the cool thing is with Dragon's Dogma. You can change your vocation, whatever the fuck you want. Um, so you're not stuck. It's not like you've got to start, restart all over again. You learn the vocation and then you go, nah, let me try something else. And then you start levelling the other one up and then just swapping your, your um, weapons, etc. So she looks good. Locking that in. Tattoo number two, we just need a band. Um, I don't think the arrows, I think the arrows look stupid. I just want one of these. One of these and then move it to vertical position. Up, 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 up. Like this. It, it might be a little bit fiddly because it's so scratchy. That's the best word that I've got for it. Um, vertical scale. We can make it like that and then horizontal drag it. That's better. See? That's the secret. Let's bring it down a bit. Now I kind of want it thicker. You know I'll probably change my go. I don't like this anymore. Vertical scale. Um, horizontal scale vertical like that and you could even um drag it even more so whoa that's cool that's cool i like this that's very death stranding isn't it that. but we're not going to do that i do like that kind of looks like the new xbox controller doesn't it let's put that down further I don't know what platform I'm playing it on either yet. I know people ask me. Usually it is Xbox, but I don't know because I'm quite taken by the haptics on PlayStation. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. And PC, I really do want to play on PC, but because I'll be live streaming, um, I'm always a little bit funny about that because of the different balance of resources from your computer because I've only got one computer. So in order to make content um, and record and everything like that, especially live streaming, um, I think it's too risky. I like the wet look. Unfortunately, you can only have that many body tattoos. 
So I quite like it. I don't know if it rob. I don't know if it takes away from the face. So just remove it if you don't like it. I, you know, I always change my mind. I think that's stupid. Oh God, I think it's stupid to have just a thin band. So we'll just put that one there. What does it look like if I just have a whole neck one? Though? I do like it. So if I have that, then you can just go back to the body tattoo style and then just change it and see what that, I mean, that looks cool as hell. That's like a hypnotic kind of thing. I love it. Take a screenshot of that. It's on her chin though, which is okay. We'll zoom it out. That's very, very ghost-like. Let's move that one down. Vertical position. All right, now go back to it. I love that. I, f I absolutely love it. That's beautiful. That's art. She's a piece of art. Um, I don't mind that either. That's a bit extreme. That's beautiful too. We need to move that down though. I do love it. I do love that one. Lock it in though. I do love that one too. I do want that one. I can't decide. It's like ordering dinner. I love that swirl. And the crazy part is once you start to go um, tiling, once you start tiling the design, then it just changes everything. There's just so many possible. Look at that. Like, look at that. That just sort of was two, like, bores. That could be really nice if you narrowed it down. I want to try it. I do want to try this one. Uh, we need to change the... God, help me remember. That, and then go... That's sick. I had a feeling that would fucking, I had a feeling that would be amazing. Oh my God. All right, that's number nine. That number nine is the, is the shit. That is, oh, okay. Overall scale, so we focus. That's when it starts to muck around. Oh boy. Vertical scale. I don't like it where it was. Show me that. See, once you start to muck with it, she goes crazy. That's so beautiful. I love it. I just want to leave it like that. I just wish... I, I'm going to try and bring it down a bit more. And then make it bigger. I think that's going to be the go. Overall scale. And then we might have to... Might have to... That's so pretty. Oh my god, I can't decide. It's so pretty. No matter what way I turn. Oh my goodness. It's... That's what I mean. It's like everything you do in this it just creates, it, like having this tiling, vertical and horizontal. It's a win-win non-stop. So if you muck around with that, you're going to be pleasantly surprised, I can tell you. So let's zoom her out. I love that one. I love that one. And I love that one. I love that one too. <laughs> I can't decide. I do love that. It's really hot because it goes right down the boobies. Um, so lock that one in. No, I hate it. Put the other one down. Horizontal. I do like that one. It does look like it's supposed to go there, though. And I've done the most... Nah. -uh -uh. Yeah. That's so good. No, I do like it. I like the, compli the, the complicated look of these other ones. But you know the cool thing is you could just double up these tattoos if you had, if you didn't do the eye thing. And then you could put um, different colours too. So I'm just, oh my God, I've got this crazy oriental lace neck. Now what the hell? That's what I'm talking about. Like, look at this. It's, it's sick. It's sick. So we could go like that. We can go and change this to red. 
For example, you can go to metallic. I don't like the metallic. Intensity, this is going to dull it. Or, yeah, dull that down. I don't want to do that. Opacity, that's what I was thinking. That does not look good. Let me, let me have a look at other colours. Oh, it's just... It's never ending. It's honestly never ending. You can make an even a beautiful, like, lace tattoo design. It's crazy. Most people won't notice it because you don't really want to fiddle-faddle too much with this stuff. Dante subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Dante, for subscribing to the channel too, wherever you might be floating around. So, uh, we got... That was the dragon. Look at this. Number 20 is, oh my God. It's just too much, isn't it? How stunning. That's a bit too crazy. I love that one too, that's beautiful. That's too circus looking. No, I'm not into any of these ones. I don't think that's gonna happen. That's cool, I like that. Scratching down. I don't like those ones. It's amazing, things that you can create. I do love that. That's so nice. All right. I kind of feel like if I do that with a thumbnail, it's not going to be... It's not going to stand out so much. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Snakes going down. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's on her neck. It's biting on her neck. We have to have it. Look at it. Look at it snaking off the side boob. That is stunning. Lock it in. Can't even talk properly. Lock it in. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm deep down this rabbit hole, aren't I? Oh, she's beautiful. Uh, one more... Th no, I like her eyebrow like that. I was going to make it a little bit more pointy, but... No. You can't pick earrings or any, like, headpieces in this, but I'm assuming that you'll definitely get headpieces for the different characters. Um, in the original, you could change the hair colour to bright colours. Um, there was that. Um, so I don't... I wouldn't get too fixated on worrying about not being able to change a character. In Dragon's Dogma 1, there was a hairdresser there, so you could change your hair, um, and you could change other features um, the more you paid, not real money, the more you paid in the game, which wasn't very much once you played enough, but don't be too fixated on all of that stuff. Um, in the first one, there was a thing called the art... Shivers, I can't remember the art or the act of metamorphosis, We could totally overhaul your whole character. But it's not something you just click and then get it straight away. I don't know if this one has it. I haven't had the privy of, of being able to play it. But um, I'm assuming that they'll be as generous. That's beautiful. This is the most beautiful character I think I've done. I keep saying that every time I make one, but she's absolutely breathtaking. Let's have a look what she looks like with the armor. I don't think she suits that. Um, let's go. Let's have a look at the lighting. Let's have a look at her in the dark. Oh, my God. Okay. That's creepy as hell. Yeah, I like this one. That's too user-friendly, isn't it? Too, that lighting is not very good. No, I don't like that one. This is nicer. I'm trying to get a good shot. I think the best shot's always the one that's kind of, you know, the default lighting type. It really captures her creepy eyes, though. But for a YouTube thumbnail, you kind of want that contrast like this one here. See, looks really good. So I'll put that there. I want to make her a bit higher like that. Like this, yeah. Okay, now do that. Oh, we need to get rid of the overlay for a second. There we go. There, and now we want a creepy frontal. Ooh, you'll know. You look at the thumbnail, you'll be oh, now I know when she took it. Okay, one more. Then I'm gonna go finalize. Uh, the body's done, the vocation. 
Let's have a look. So this is what she looks like. She's. Let me tell you, do not make a fighter in this sort of shape. Do not make a tiny fighter. Uh, you're going to regret it very severely. If you're going to have, a, if you want a tiny character, make them suit the role. So a mage, for example. Now the mage outfits will. This this mage outfit is very similar to um, one in the first one, which I think was blue. I think they did have a brown one too, but. Um, you'll get ones that are more sexier too. They're not all just big potato sack looking things. I think she looks great as a thief. Archer, yeah, I don't know. I think a, I think a mage or a thief, I would go. That's creepy as hell. Um, so what we're going to do now is go through all the settings so you know exactly what they are. Our vocation, we'll just go... Thief, inclination, straightforward, voice. People here are evacuated. There are more who could. People here are. People here are evacuated. And people here are evacuated. People here are evacuated and That'll safe do. for the and moment. Safe. Oh my god. All right, body, here we go. Here's the part. You probably want to pause this as we go. Height 160, torso length minus 18, muscle star type 23. Muscle strength, 50. Trap size, 0. Upper body, muscle mass, minus 10. Lower body, muscle mass, 10. Upper body size, minus 5. Lower body size, 10. So if you do want to make her a fighter, this is where you start changing it to make her a big, strong girl. So just pump all of those big muscle mass things up. I don't know how high. Um, the more, you know, the, more, the larger they are, usually the more they can carry. The longer their arms are, the bigger their reach. So keep all that stuff in mind. Like I've said before, I don't know all the fine-tuned details because I haven't had the opportunity to play it and test it, but I will. Head size, 80. Head length, 19. Head width, minus 24. Head depth, 0. Face height, 22. Neck length, 24. Neck thickness, 0. Upper body, shoulder width, 10. Shoulder size, minus 30. Chest thickness, 0. Chest size 100, chest shape 4.5, chest height 100, torso width 5, torso depth 0, arm length minus 15, arm size 10, and then for the arms 10 for those. Lower body waist width minus 100, waist size 81, rear size 100, the rest are 0. Posture 0 for movement style, elbow angle minus 30, knee angle minus 20, posture 16. Ah! Don't want to do that. Next one. Head. Base head, 23. Skin. Base skin, 17. Skin color, 5. Wrinkles, 0. She skin sheen, 0. Brow height, 24. Brow spacing, 21. Brow depth, minus 10. Brow depth inner, 21. Brow depth outer, minus 42. Brow angle, minus 14. Brow bend, 28. Eyes, eye height, 8, eye width, 30, eye depth, minus 26, eye size, 100, eye angle, minus 40, uh, then the squint is 20s. Nose, nose length, 14, bridge width, 0, bridge height, minus 10, bridge bump, 0, bridge bump upper, minus 44, bridge bump lower, minus 30, nostril size, minus 32, nostril height, 10, nostril width, 0, tip depth, 40, Tip angle, minus 20. Tip sharpness, 28. Ears are all zero. Cheeks are all zero. Mouth, zero height. Minus 23 mouth width. Protrusion, zero. Mouth corners, 20. Lip thickness, 73. Lower lip position, zero. Jaw and chin, all zeros. Hair, number 41 for the hair color black. Root tip blend, 50-50. And then sheen, 13. If you want it shiny, go full bang. Eyebrows, shape number 10, black number 1, and thickness 72. Eyes, eye style type 2, iris primary colour, all those are 1, black, iris size maximum 100, pupil size 100. Eyelashes, type 1, uh, and then the length, we want these longer. Length and the density, all 100. Eyeshadow, uh, it's off. Eyeliner, style number nine, eyeliner color number one. Eyeliner coverage, 57. Opacity, 100. Metallic, zero. 
eyeliner sheen 40. Now we could go eyeliner and make it wet like the rest of it, which works too. So you got eyeliner metallic full bang. Sheen you can go full bang too. Because we do have that sort of bit of a waterline there that we can see is separate. Thank God for that. Ignore the freckles. Cheek style um, is nothing also. The lips are important, number five. Lip color one and the rest are 100. Teeth are all just set. Uh, teeth color is seven and the rest are full. Tattoo, body tattoos, number 65. This is for the eyes. All number ones. Vertical position, 35. Horizontal position, zero. Rotation, zero. Overall scale, 19. Vertical scale, 23. Horizontal scale, 15. Vertical tiling, one. And horizontal tiling, two. Opacity, 100. Intensity, zero. Metallic, zero. You can make that more if you want. Uh, sheen, 100. Second, why don't you actually take that back, back a bit? 20. Um, so metallic 20, 18 or 20. Second body tattoo. Style number 16 with the snakes. Primary colour and then all the other colours are one. Vertical position minus four. Horizontal position zero. Rotation zero. 43 for the scale. Vertical scale 43. Horizontal scale 162. Vertical tiling one and importantly horizontal tiling for tattoo number two, nine. Opacity 100, intensity 0, metallic is 0, sheen, we can have that to 100. She looks absolutely stunning. And then we'll just turn around the back, look at that. Take a screen here, that one too. So she is absolutely stunning. I just, I can't get over how lovely she is. And it's mainly um, because of her eyes and her hair, but that neck design was just stunning and somebody's going to get annoyed with that little snake head under her chin, maybe. All right, fine, I'll move it down a bit. So if you want to be pedantic, rotation, it's going to be um, vertical position. There, vertical position minus five if you want to be pedantic. Snakes are all up in her neck. That is stunning. My favourite. My favourite creation, I don't... I, I do want to use her, but there's so many different characters I do want to use that I've made. But my main one that I do love is one that I have not made, and it's a cat. So, you have to wait and see. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for all the new supporters. Don't forget, again, to join the Discord. And um, I'm there all the time. And, um, yeah, as soon as videos come up, bang, they're on the Discord. And sneak peeks and previews before videos come. All right, I hope you enjoyed all this. Until next time. Thank you for hanging out.